What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today is going to be the official first start of Barry's Battle Bowl. So, this is kind of what each bracket's going to look like. The way we're going to do the first one, at least, at least at first, we're going to try something out here. What we're going to do is we're going to do individual factions, get one champion from every single faction, and then have like a six-way final... Not Battle Royale, but still single elimination with some random buys thrown in. So this is going to be interesting. Not quite sure how it's going to turn out. Get to remember, these are going to be five-star heroes. Nothing on them. No gear. No nothing. Round one abilities that do a lot of damage are going to be really strong. And of course, speed might also be key. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with this bracket right here. We're going to see uh, who comes out on top. And then we're going to move on from there. So we'll start with the light. We'll move on probably to dark after that. But what I want you guys to do in a comment down below, who do you think the winner is going to be? Now, because there are factions like, you know, Shadow, Fortress, Abyss, there's enough to pretty much fill up two of these brackets, two of these, uh, sorry, eight player brackets right here. Uh, there's almost 16 five stars. Of course, natural five stars are all that's going to be used here. We're going to see how this breaks down because they might have the best two out of the two random brackets for shadow fortress abyss forest and then face off against the top from light and dark and we'll have a final battle royale but i want you guys to let me know who you think the overall winner is going to be and the person who picks something we're going to close out comments here in about a day or so so leave a comment immediately and we're either going to do like an account tune-up giveaway to them or a $30 Amazon gift card, something like that, whatever they choose they want for their account. We'll let them pick. So let's jump into it. Let's see how this is going to unfold. And I'm really excited. So in this first matchup, as you saw, we are going to have Asmodel versus Tara. Now we're going to put everybody in slot two of these fights. Of course, no other heroes, nothing else. This is going to be a best of seven. And essentially, whoever the top hero is, is going to be considered the attacking hero. Uh, that does matter if speeds are the same. It is kind of a coin flip based on where they're placed in the bracket. So that is where the RNG is going to come involved. But seven battles. Let's see how this actually goes. All right. Fight number one. Let's see how this goes. Um, Tara feels like he's got a, an early advantage here. Ooh, Tara has some really, oh, the, oh my goodness. So that was really, really, really close. All right, let's jump into the second battle right here. Do you think Asmodel can get a really big crit? Because Tara's damage is pretty much static. Now, there wasn't a crit there. Yeah, this is going to be the hard thing because there's no gil tech either. So for Asmodel to reliably crit to proc his crit mark is going to be a very low chance. So Tara's up to nothing right now. Um, Big active ability. Oh, he didn't crit again. And yeah, I mean, you just see there is some RNG in his damage for Tara. But uh, Asmodel doesn't look like he can swing it. So he's already down 0 to 3. It looks like Tara is going to be taking this one right here. Uh, it all comes down to this active. If he crits, he has a chance. If he doesn't crit, I feel like he's just done. Done, so no chance. He's got one more basic, but I don't think those crit... Oh! <laughs> he came out of nowhere with that crit. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Asmodel down one to three. Can he sweep the rest of these and come away with the victory? I don't know. This is already more exciting than I thought it was going to be, to be fair. That was some crazy, just, at, oh, that was a big hit from Tara, last basic. If he had one more round, but Tara did a little bit too much damage. So round one goes to Tara. So the next matchup is going to be Ada versus Michelle. Now, honestly, I feel like Michelle might have had a better chance in this bracket if she didn't get paired up against Ada, but this one's going to be interesting. So let's see what happens here. Let's see. Can her revive really make a difference? Because she also heals, but so does Ada. I feel like Ada's going to be too strong. 
Yeah, because the active ability, the mark from Ada, there seems to be a lot of damage. I think Ada's self-healing is just way too strong for Michelle to even handle. I don't even think Michelle's going to come away with a single victory here. Mm-mm. So one nothing to Ada. We're actually going to speed this match up because unless it's a close matchup, I mean, she got a stun off. But again, if she came back with energy, I would say she'd have a chance because then she could get another heal off. But I think Ada is going to quickly take this one in a clean sweep. She gets the stun, she gets the heal, but it's just really not enough to match up here. Even with the burn, it's just not going to happen. 3-0 to the Ada. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen here. This is going to be the end of the fight right here, and it's going to go 4 nothing to the Ada in round one. All right. So next up in the bracket is going to be Russell versus Andrea. Now, it's kind of an unfair advantage. I was originally thinking Russell might not be that good because it takes him to round three to get his big burst damage off. But based on these fights, the heroes are living quite a while. So I'm almost thinking this might go well for Russell. I mean, granted, it's against Andrea. So I'm pretty sure he's just going to one shot him every time. He doesn't. Interesting. This fight could... Okay, never mind. That's really interesting, though. His active ability isn't as strong as I really thought it would be. Uh, we'll speed this one up just because of the animations and everything. And I don't think we're going to see much difference. I think this is going to be a clean sweep for nothing for the Russell as well. I pretty much expected it on this one here. But it's really interesting to see Andrea had a better chance than I honestly thought he did. I thought he was going to get completely stomped, but he took like half the health bar down. Last fight, fight number four for the Russell. Looks like it's going to be another KO in round three. Or round four, I mean. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I meant. All right, there we go. Russell is the winner. So lastly, in this final round one, we are going to have the Battle of the Assassins. We have Faithblade versus Tusi Lago. Now, honestly, I think the one, I think whoever's faster has the advantage here. And I don't remember as far as the five stars go, if Andrea or Faithblade is faster. I'm not going to bother looking. We're just going to jump into it. We're going to see who is the superior one-on-one -on -one assassin. Faithblade and Tusi Lago have devastating active abilities. So this is going to be really interesting. Tusi Lago might win. Ooh, Faithblade with the stun. That could be really huge. The stun RNG there. So round one goes to the Faithblade. Hopefully a hero that came out two and a half years ago doesn't beat one of the newest light heroes in the game. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot more damage there, and the stun didn't happen that time. Okay, so we are one to one between Tusi Lago and Faithblade. There's a lot of RNG between crit chances, stuns, a lot of different stuff going on here. If Faithblade gets the stun, he wins. If he does not get it, he loses. So that brings it two to one to the Tusi Lago. Who's going to get to four wins first? That's the big question here. He gets the stun off. Is that enough? Just, oh my goodness. All right, Tusi Lago up three to one here. So maybe I was a little, a little jump in the gun there with the Faith Blade. <laughs> I kind of thought Faith Blade would win though, but it looks like Tusi Lago, being that her speed is higher or that she's going first, is the big deciding factor. So Tusi Lago takes that four to one. Okay, so we have the round one winners here. This is where the bracket is progressing. We now have Tara versus Ada, which honestly could be kind of close. I still think Ada has a chance to win this. And then Russell versus Tusi Lago. That one, I'm really unsure. Tusi Lago gets an active while Russell is in the air. Actually, no, Russell won't be in the air just yet. So Tusi Lago might have a chance to beat down Russell before he gets in the air. But let's jump to Tara versus Ada first to see who goes to the finals. Okay, so since Tara was on the top of the bracket, he gets to be on offense. He's going to be in slot two. Let's see what happens here. I'm thinking Ada's got this victory. Oh, Ada's still going first because she's like the fastest hero in the game. Interesting. Now, Tara doesn't have a heal. Ooh, I mean, depending on Tara's damage, he might have a chance here. 
but I think Ada takes this one in four straight. It really depends, I think, on if he crits or not. That end of round damage is going to add up a ton. Ooh, it's such a close fight, but Ada definitely pulls away with the victory here. I think if Tara was against anybody else, he would probably be going to the finals here because Tara is a wrecking ball one-on-one. -on -one. Big damage there. Oh, he didn't crit that time, so that's not as good. Yeah, just the steady damage coming from the Ada is definitely taking him down. Let's go one more round here. An Ada's clean sweep Tara, who I thought was going to make it to the finals, but the way the bracket worked out, oh, it's just so close on that damage. Yep. Ada definitely takes it a clean sweep for nothing. So this last battle is going to be the Ranger versus the Assassin, two of the newest light heroes. We got Russell versus Tusilago. Let's see if he can actually pull out a win here. I am not sure if he can or if Tusilago's damage is just going to be too much since she does go first. The question is, can he live to an active ability? And it looks like he will. And the ping damage is enough. So we might see what I think a lot of people might have thought would be the final two here. Russell versus Ada. But we'll have to wait and see. If Tusi Lago gets some crit damage going here, she could pull out the win. But this, oh, talk about a crit. A 22,000 damage crit from the Russell. Cleaning up that Tusi Lago. Good lord. And didn't even need the ping damage. That was really close. Oh, she did pull out a win with a big crit. So is that two to one? Oh, no, I didn't keep track. I think that's two to one, Russell. I don't think he got a third win. I think that was two to one. Was it three to one? Uh-oh. We'll see. Hold on. If it really comes down to it and she wins another one, I might have to look at the replays here. Not going to be enough damage. Yeah, there there is a way for Tusi Laga to win this, but I'm going to say that was three to one, Russell. We'll go one more. It might have been his fourth one there. I might have lost track, but yeah, it looks like he's going to clean up just fine without any issues here whatsoever. So the winner of the second bracket is Russell. Now we got to go Ada versus Russell. So we are moving on to the finals for the light faction. Ada versus Russell. Who is going to be the victor? So Ada is going to get offense since she's coming from the top of the bracket. Russell going to respond. They both have healing. At least, I wait. Russell at five star does not have healing. That's very interesting to think about. At least I think he, I don't think he did, right? Man, we have to learn what heroes have at five star because there's so many abilities. They don't have at five star. They do have at 10 star. So this is going to be interesting. Let's jump into the finals for the light faction. Okay, let's throw our Ada in here. Slot two. Let's get it going. Who do you think is going to win? This one could be one of the close ones, I think. It just depends on if he dies right here. Oh, he doesn't even make it to an active. Is Ada going to take a clean sweep here? I think it's a yes. Russell's basic does nothing. He doesn't have a heal at 5 star. He uses his active ability, which procs the mark damage from the Ada. And then we have the end of round damage finishing him off. He doesn't even get out of round 2. And it looks like what probably everybody was thinking. Ada takes the clean sweep in the finals of the light faction. So that is pretty interesting to note. I, if he had a heal, I think it would be a much different situation. But he doesn't at five star. So there we have it. Ada is the final winner of the light bracket. So remember, we're not talking about in the comments down below who's going to win this one. We want to know who you think overall is going to be the victor. So next time, we're going to do the same thing for the dark faction. After that, we're going to do two brackets for shadow, two brackets for uh, fortress, two for abyss, and two for forest. Get two winners out of each of those factions and then probably face them off against each other, or maybe throw them into a big pool of 10 heroes, one light, one dark, and a whole bunch of others. Hmm, there's potential in this. I gotta figure out exactly what we wanna do here. Uh, either way, there's gonna be buys in the first round. I think we go with the top eight heroes. I think that's what we're gonna do. Top eight heroes, we'll try to figure out a way to do that. Throw them into a final bracket here. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this idea. That's the one big thing. Let me know if you think this is a fun idea, boring idea. I don't know. It seems fun to me. 
Uh, I feel like the light and dark factions are a little one-sided because there's like the dominant hero in each one of them. Although dark could be very interesting with Drake and Carry dodging. But Asmodel and Taro is by far probably the best, most entertaining fight so far. I don't know. You guys let me know. We have tons of possibilities what we can do with this. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,